So the moment we get born again, Paul says that let nobody now regard people according to the flesh, mm. but according to the spirit. Mm. So when I see you, I should see who you are in your spirit, because yes. that is exactly what God sees. Yes. So when you when you say it is a new creation, this spirit is exactly like God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Wow, it's so beautiful to be here again in the Marvelous Believers show. I know we were together last week and it was so informative. I know all of us learned something and in case you missed, by the way, please find time to go back and check our last episode. It was awesome. And today I am so privileged to be here again. I first want to thank you for finding time to tune in. And I know there is a word for you and for me. Special thanks to our Wema TV crew for always making it such a beautiful time to have to share the word of God. So today I am again so privileged that I have uh, the team that I had last episode. And these are my friends, my fellow ministers. I am so honored that you found time to come. And I think maybe I'll give you a minute or two to just say hi to the viewers and then we can continue. Maybe we start with you. Hi, Wema TV viewers. I'm excited once again to join you in this show. My name is Grace Kiboy. And uh, as we enjoy this together, the spirit, soul and body, and also the Christmas edition, I am excited to be part of this show. Thank you. Wow, praise God. How are you? My name is Pastor Ben Fetcher and again I'm so excited to be here today and uh, I love what we are discussing here. We have been talking about spirit, soul and body and it's always amazing to realize that this is the essence of Christ coming so that we can understand these matters and uh, to all the Marvelous Believers show viewers, we love you so much and thank you for tuning in in Jesus name. Amen, amen. Yes, this is the spirit, soul, and body, and we have a Christmas edition. I don't know if you have ever thought it can be Christmas as we discuss the spirit, soul, and body, but here we are. Get your seatbelt fasted. We are about to hear it all. And I want to just thank God again for this opportunity. I want you to just begin. There is something that can uh, that communicates to us as we speak about the spirit, soul, and body. There is always a word, a rema word, that comes to your spirit and it will never leave. And I know this is going to be such a blessing uh, session. So uh, without uh, wasting too much time, I want to allow Pastor Ben Fetcher to kick us off and uh, then we shall flow. Amen. Thank mm -hmm. you so much, Pastor Lucy. And uh, in our last episode, I remember we were we got in depth, though yeah. we were just on the surface. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we were talking about how, I remember we mentioned creation, yes. maybe. Mm -hmm. And if you missed that, maybe you can go back and see it and uh, watch and get to learn what we talked about. But basically, we talked about how God created man in his own image and likeness and uh, how in chapter in. Genesis chapter 2, then man was formed and God brought the man in Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 and he gave him a body and a soul and he became, he was a living soul, so he became spirit, soul and body. And the spirit is the part that relates with God uh, fully. Then in Genesis chapter 3, we see the fall of man. So at that point, he lost the image of God, where he was created in the image and the likeness of God. Then we went to chapter 5 and we said, man now began to give birth to men who had his own likeness mm -hmm. and image, which was fallen image, which is not uh, where the spirit was the spirit of man was separated from the spirit of God, and that is what we call spiritual death. And you can see that in our last episode. Then we say why Christ came now so that he can make us a new creation. And I remember we, we read in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, where we say that if any man now be in Christ, mm -hmm. he is a new creation, mm -hmm. the old is gone, mm -hmm. and the new has come. Mm -hmm. And uh, maybe uh, today I can read a verse in the book of Ephesians, the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, the book of Ephesians chapter 2, we read from verse number 1 
because uh, it is very important. And uh, I also remember something that we said last time that uh, there are two accounts of creation. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first account of creation is in Genesis chapter 1, one. verse 26. Mm -hmm. Then the second account of creation is in the book of 2 Corinthians 5, 17, mm -hmm. where we saw that if any man be in Christ, is a new creature. Mm -hmm. So the first account of creation is where man was made in the image of God. But uh, after sin entered, man lost that image and now the coming of Christ was to come and make us again to bring us back again into the place where we have the image and likeness of God and uh, uh, today I want us I want to read a, a verse in the book of Ephesians chapter 2 from verse 1 and, and as you read pastor yes. I think you also we agreed last week, last episode like Every time we hear creation, it's in the spirit. Yes, yes. That so is the very man important. who was created first was created in the spirit. Mm -hmm. And this new man who becomes a new creation mm -hmm. in, sec in the second Corinthians again is in the is spirit. In the spirit. Yeah. Okay. And that is the difference we realize between Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, mm -hmm. and Genesis chapter 2, from verse 7, yeah. where the Genesis chapter 2 from verse 7 is not talking about creation, but it was talking about formation. formation. Praise okay. God. Okay. And now in the in, Gen, in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17, he does not say, if any man be in Christ, he's a new formation. Mm -hmm. He says he's a new creation. Again, wow. this is spiritual. Mm -hmm. And we also said that, so the real us mm -hmm. is the spirit. Yeah, the so real we us may, is the spirit. We, we are talking about spirit, soul, and body. Mm -hmm. So we are spirits, we have a soul mm -hmm. and we live in a body. So the real okay. us is the spirit. Is the spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, so Ephesians chapter 2 from verse 1 says, And you he made alive who are dead in trespasses and sins. So this is what Adam brought. After the fall of man, mm. this is what man was ushered into, a place where they were dead in trespasses and sin. And this is the day that God had talked about in the in the Garden of Eden, that mm. when you eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, mm. you will die. Mm. And we realized that he was not talking per se about the physical death. Mm. He was talking about the spiritual death. Because so, Adam didn't die that yeah, day. Yeah, actually he lived so many other <laughs> years after that physically. Yeah. But he died instantly spiritually yes. and that is how when God came into the garden he asked Adam where are you mm. because you know God is spirit yes. and uh, he used to relate with man in the spirit uh, mm. in the mm. spiritual realm mm. so at this specific day God comes into the garden and realizes man is not there mm. where we used to relate with him mm. because man is spirit so according to God man was dead Okay. He was dead because okay. he is not living where God lives, mm. so he is dead. Mm. But now in uh, Ephesians chapter 2, he is saying, and you he made alive. Now to make alive means to be brought, uh, to be made alive in the spirit. Yes. Now this is where now we come back to the spirit, soul and body, and we realize that when Christ came, he came to make us alive in the spirit. Mm. We who are dead in trespasses and sins in which you once walked according to the course of this world according to the power of the uh, power of the air the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience mm -hmm. among who also we all once maybe you cannot we don't want to go to all those details but the point here is you he made alive yes so now Christ has made us alive mm -hmm. in the spirit. Mm -hmm. So the, the death that we experienced because of Adam, mm -hmm. now Christ came to change that and he made us alive in the spirit. Wow. Such yeah. that now uh, the part that we had, the part that had been separated from God, that is the spirit mm -hmm. us, mm -hmm. is now brought back into union with God. Yes. And Hallelujah. this is the part where now we, we say that if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. Yes. I remember you giving an example that... Uh, the part of us that became new yes. is not the, the, the mind, that is the soul, mm -hmm. and it is not the body. Yes. And you gave an example with the, <laughs> people who are not tall. People who are short. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. But now the place that has been made alive mm -hmm. is, the, is, the, is the spirit. Yes. And it is possible for someone to be alive physically, yes. but dead spiritually. Spiritual. Because uh, spiritually means... To be now this is when we talk about being born again yes. you've been made spiritually alive this is the new creation part of you mm -hmm. and it is uh, in the spirit yes it is mm -hmm. in the spirit yes wow. so when we are born again mm -hmm. yeah we are recreated yes 
a, fr- a new a new in Christ in Christ so our our board our spirits mm-hmm. are as new as as Christ is yes it is exactly the spirit is exactly because we are born of God and the and the bible says that that which is born of spirit mm-hmm. is spirit yeah so when we are born again we are talking about now the spirit mm-hmm. it is born of God born of God so it is recreated in Christ. Exactly. Yes. And and maybe we can uh, again look at a, a story in the book of John chapter 3 okay. where uh, Jesus had a, con- a conversation with Nico, Nicodemus. <laughs> yeah. and this mm-hmm. man was a Pharisee. Mm-hmm. So he feared to go to Jesus during the day. Mm-hmm. He went uh, at night. Yeah. And uh, the Bible says in John chapter 3 from verse uh, 1, uh, John chapter 3 from verse 1, we are reading from the New King James Version. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi or Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Mm-hmm. Then verse 3, Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Mm-hmm. One is born again. Mm-hmm. Then verse 4 he says, Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? You see, these people are talking about two different kind yes. of births. Mm. One is talking about he is uh, uh, when he is old. Mm. Yeah. So the part that gets old is the body. The body mm. So he is thinking that Jesus is talking about the body. Yes. But Jesus is not talking about the body. So he had to clarify to him. In verse 5 he says, Jesus answered, Most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born of water and the spirit, mm. he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Mm. And verse 6 now he clarifies the two kinds of birth. He says, mm. that which is born of the flesh yes. is flesh. Mm. And that which is born of the spirit is is spirit. Wow. So there are two birds there mm. he's talking about. Mm. The birth of the flesh and that is what gives birth to this yes. physical okay. body. Mm. And that is what we say the devil didn't experience. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Remember? <Not> yes. <laughs> then the second kind of birth mm. is uh, being born of the spirit. Yes. And now this is what you're talking about. The spirit us being born of yes. the spirit mm-hmm. and this is what we well, this is what happens when you talk about being born again yes. it is not the body that gets born again yes. neither is it the soul mm. it is the spirit that gets born again as in, the physical body which was born of a woman yes remains, remains as it was. the same mm-hmm. yes. Then the yeah, soul, the, the soul, soul is the mind, the emotions, uh, and the, the, the intellect part of you. After you immediately you're born again, the soul is not necessarily also changed. Yes, it remains yes, the same. It remains the same. But, but the part of you that becomes new, completely, completely new, new, is the spirit. Wow, this yes. was difficult for Nicodemus to understand. He could not understand this <laughs> because he was a natural man. Yes. And one day I heard someone preaching and saying, you know, even maybe Nicodemus' mother had died. So now, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus when was... do I go back? <laughs> Which one? Yeah, so it was difficult for him to understand mm-hmm. how you can be born again. And yes. maybe it was so hard. They didn't know that you're talking about a real birth of the spirit. Yes. A completely new thing. Mm-hmm. Wow. And you see now, when it comes to the spirit, mm-hmm. like the body, no, nobody can argue about the body. We mm. can all see the body. Yeah. yeah. The emotions, as we said last time, if somebody insults you, mm-hmm. you feel, what you feel. Yeah. Like if I pinch you, Pastor Ben, you mm-hmm. feel pain. Yeah. That is the physical. The, the that physical one we all body. know. Yes. Or your heart or mm. your heart. Mm. But when somebody insults you or you see you are feeling so much pain, or when you lose a loved one mm. and you are saying, I'm in so much pain, what what where is the pain? That is in the, in the that, soul. That is in the soul. In the soul. Yeah. But you see, when it comes to the spirit, you can never feel it, you can never touch it, you can never see it. Mm-hmm. So it is not easy mm-hmm. without referring to the word of God for mm-hmm. somebody to understand that you are born again and you are talking about the spirit mm-hmm. or what has happened in the spirit. Unless you refer to the word of God, it is very hard for a normal person mm-hmm. to understand Understand. what is happening in the spirit because yeah. you can never touch it, mm-hmm. you can never see it, mm-hmm. you can never feel it. Mm-hmm. It is... It is by faith mm-hmm. that yeah. we know what has Spirit happened by faith. in the spirit. Yeah. So for so that is why now when God, God being a spirit, as we said, God is a spirit. Mm. So He communicates to the spirit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He actually, as you are saying about Nicodemus, even today, when you read the Bible and you see, you read, you are seated with Christ in the heavenly places. Yeah. 
So you wonder, what is the Bible saying? Mm. I am here seated at Rema TV Studios. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I am, saying, why is the Bible saying that I am seated with mm. Christ in the heavenly places? Yes. Up mm. above every principality. You see, when the Bible talks about who you are, it talks about who you are in the spirit. In the spirit. It can never be who you are in the flesh mm. or who you are in your soul. Mm. So that is why it is very hard. If you're not, if you don't understand it is by faith, it is very hard to understand, like Nicodemus, mm. how can I be born again? Yeah. And that is why even salvation is by faith. Yes. Yeah, purely by faith. Purely by faith. Because these things are not something you can say, like, mm. I feel it. It's yeah. not a feeling. Mm. Yes. It's not something you can say, I have touched it. Yes. Actually, I like how Jesus puts it down there the same john chapter 3 mm-hmm. if you look at verse 7 the next verse he says do not marvel that i said to you you must be born again mm-hmm. then verse 8 he says the wind blows where it wishes mm-hmm. and you hear the sound of it mm-hmm. but cannot tell where it comes from and where and it, goes. it goes so is everyone who is born like, of the spirit yes. Yes. Yeah. it's not like you can say this and this and this, 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 this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it is it is of the spirit yes and one of the things that i know have disturbed people is they get born again and then a day later, they start doubting if they got because born they again. Feeling because they are not feeling like anything. Nothing has changed. Yes. They realize they are eating the same food they, they liked. I mean, you start now doubting that you got born again. Yes. And the devil takes advantage yeah. and starts telling you, ah, ah you thought you just to say, Jesus come in my life can enough. change. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and that is now the difference because, because I've realized most people confuse the soul and the spirit mm. as you were saying last time yeah so they want to feel yeah who they are in the spirit yeah. yes. or that, that thing that 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 feel even even people like even being righteous for example mm-hmm. they want to first feel righteous mm-hmm. or they first feel they are now closer to god there's that feeling you want mm-hmm. and you think that is your spirit but that is your soul mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so when you start fe- uh, confusing the spirit and the soul is when you get in your even when you sing and you feel bad, you confuse, you think it is, it is the, it the is spirit the that is feeling bad, and yet it is the soul. Mm. But if you feel guilty, you think it is the spirit. Is and yet mm. when when we read that he who is in actually the, the verse before, I mm. think we read it last time, the yeah. first the verse before he who is in Christ mm. is a new creation, yeah. says that before they let nobody regard you. As uh, according to according the flesh, to the flesh. Mm. yes, we knew Christ according to the but flesh, but from no now mm. onwards, mm. Yeah. that no one refer to you from mm. your flesh, mm. but they should we should refer people from yes. their mm. spirits. Mm-hmm. So, the moment we get born again, Paul says that we the spirit has gotten uh, born again, yeah, so it is now new. Mm. Actually, the, the old one is completely gone, it's, gone. It's, it's, it's not recreated, it is not renewed, it is not refurbished. Mm. The old one is completely gone yeah. and the new has come. And then he says, let nobody now regard people according to the flesh, mm. but according to the spirit. Mm. So when I see you, I should see who you are in your spirit. Because yes. that is exactly what God sees. Yes. God does not see us according to who we are in the flesh mm. or who we are in the soul. Mm. When he, he relates to the spirit, because he's a spirit, he's a spirit. and he relates to the spirit. Yeah. So when you he, when he say it is a new creation, this spirit is exactly like God. It is the DNA of God. It is exactly like God mm-hmm. himself. Mm-hmm. It has the very same power that God has. Mm-hmm. The same create, universe creating power yes. is in this, in this mm-hmm. spirit. Yeah. It is like Christ himself. Mm-hmm. The same power that raised Christ from the dead is in this spirit. Yes. But when we look at people physically, because you can never see the spirit, you will see a weak person. You will see... You, mm. you will not... Because you are looking at... Yeah. But we look at the spirit, the only way to know who he, that person is in the spirit is to refer to the word of the word, yeah. which is, and nothing needs to change. When you say uh, we have gotten born again, even for, uh, we have eternal life. Mm. Immediately we get born again, we get eternal life. Mm-hmm. And that is the life we will have. We will not get eternal life when we die. It's, it's now. It is that when you get born again. What you and that life you received when you got born again, that is the same life you will live with forever, billion and billion years to come. Mm-hmm. You will not need to modify anything. 
You don't need to change anything in your mm-hmm. spirit. Mm-hmm. The same spirit you received when you got born again has everything. Mm-hmm. And it is the same spirit that you live with it forever and ever. Wow. Billions and billions. There is nothing that you need to change in that spirit. I am thinking so, you want to bring us to a subject <laughs> that I really like. Like you are you are saying the life that we receive when we get born again. Yes. Because our spirit is made alive. Mm-hmm. What yes. Pastor read. Yes. That life that we receive when we get born again is mm-hmm. eternal. Yes. yes. It is eternal. Mm. and nothing will be added or received. The Bible says that we are sealed mm. with, the, with Holy the Holy Spirit. Mm. So the moment we get born again, that life is eternal and it is sealed. Mm. Nothing can ever penetrate. So what is that, that life? That changes because I know like uh, when I got born again, yes. I, I still know that something has been changing in me. Mm. Yes. I, if, you are, if now it means my spirit is eternally redeemed yes. and is sealed. You know sealed means See, nothing, it can, it can, nothing, can pass, yeah. nothing can live, nothing, nothing can add. Uh, it is a hundred percent. So what has been happening to me because I am a witness that there are things that I know I have improved. <laughs> yeah. There are things I have stopped yes. or started. So, so when what you has get, been happening? Maybe that's what again, you need to yes. explain to us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so when you get born again, we said we are spirits. Mm. We have a soul mm. and we live in a body. Yeah. So when you get born again, we say God is a spirit and he communicates with the spirit. Yeah. So he redeems. God, first of all, we agree that God is a time. Yeah. He only stepped into time yeah. for us to understand redemption. Yeah. Yes. So when he redeems, he does not redeem in past in his torment. Yes. In his torment. So he is eternal. <laughs> in his torment. Yeah. He is not in past, but he's not yeah. in time. He is beyond. He's time. beyond time. So yeah. when he says, he redeems us, and that is why the Bible says that we were, our redemption was from the foundations of the earth. Mm. And you wonder, we thought it's 2,000 years ago. Mm. So, him redemption is eternal. Mm. So when, he, when you accept Christ, mm. you have accepted the eternal redemption. You have joined the family of eternal living. Yes. Your life is now eternal. Yes. Your redemption is eternal. Yes. You understand it by knowing that God is eternal. Mm-hmm. So a third, because we had said we are in three parts. Mm-hmm. So a third of your redemption is 100%. Yes. 100% done. sealed. Yes. Mm-hmm. 100% you are glorified, you are sanctified, you are justified, 100% in your spirit. Mm-hmm. You are healed everything that God planned to do. There's nothing we have been saying in this show or even the other shows that there's nothing new that God is going to do. Mm-hmm. Why? Because he did it and then he placed it in your spirit. Mm-hmm. So there's nothing new. No more healing. Mm-hmm. No more. There's nothing new mm-hmm. that God will ever do. He provided everything that you ever needed on the cross. And where did he put it? In your spirit. Mm-hmm. So in your spirit, everything you will ever need Whatever you are fasting God, fasting to receive from God today is already in your spirit already. if you are born again. Yes. Yes. The moment you get born again, healing, prosperity, name it, everything mm. is a hundred percent in your spirit. Mm. So now you asked about what changes. Mm. Now the, uh, the, the everyday part of a believer is not to feed the spirit. Mm. And I can even correct a bit and say, when you are going to win, we are not winning souls, we are winning spirits. Because now we have understood life. Yes, now we have understood that the soul is not the spirit. So that was an error, but we can continue saying it because, but we understand. Now we are not winning souls. souls. (laughs) Because when you win souls, the spirits are dead. <laughs> so we should win spirits. Yeah. But the process is the same. What you do, you actually win spirits without knowing mm-hmm. that you're not winning souls. So the next part is now winning souls. Mm-hmm. Winning souls, that is the everyday part of a believer, which is the five why the five hold maybe you can get for us that verse as I mean the five hold ministry. Yeah, the five hold ministries. Okay, here, chapter four. Yeah. yeah. So every day is now renewing of our minds. Mm. Paul says, do not be conformed to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of of your mind. mind. So the everyday walk of a believer, Mm. the walk of faith, what we say, the journey of faith, or the uh, working out our salvation, Mm. all the terms we use Mm. every day, Mm. we are not referring to the spirit. Mm. We are referring to the soul. Mm. So it is the soul that we renew. Okay. And before we, we, we read that verse, I can explain and say, God, we said God is directly communicating with the 
spirit. And the body has no connection with the spirit. Mm. There is nowhere the body has a connection with the spirit. Mm. In between the body and the spirit is the soul. Mm. So the only way to receive from the spirit, because the spirit we have said it's 100% done. Mm. The only way to receive what has been put in your spirit is to is through your soul. Mm. So you renew your mind, you you make you you align your soul with what is already done. Just your spirit is up there, hundred mm -hmm. percent. But your body and soul is down here. Mm. So by renewing your mind or your soul, mm. because your soul and mind are all the same. Mm. This is when you're now by reading the word, by worshiping, by praying in tongues, edifying yourself, all these things, you're coming bringing your soul mm -hmm. to where your your spirit is mm -hmm. it may not be 100 percent, but the part the so part that is renewed fully for because, example like me yeah. like healing me yes. we talk about healing yes. well because the more you renew you faith comes by hearing and hearing so we are talking about this the soul mm -hmm. you hear about healing you meditate about healing you pray in tongues about healing the moment your soul is renewed about healing automatically your body obeys yeah. wow. wow so that is to tell us that um the spirit is completely completely sealed yeah. yes and it has received a complete a hundred percent nature of god yes mm -hmm. but what i see changing in my life every day is how far i am renewing my mind yeah. yes actually i remember someone saying there is this scripture that says if the sun was make you if, if the sun makes you free you are free indeed mm -hmm. because if if your mind reaches a place where it has been it has understood mm -hmm. that it, even this i was delivered from this yes. Yes. then that is i think the level i um, mean it's a grace is saying it agrees with the spirit with it this, agrees yeah, the with the spirit. what the spirit so as we talk i think you have mentioned something between the spirit and the body, yes. the soul is between the spirit and the body. Yes. Maybe as pastor is reading for us that verse, he can also go into that direction and we see how how there is this connection, how the soul is the in between between the spirit mm. and the body again. Wow, wow. Maybe uh, you had first mentioned the book of Ephesians chapter four. Chapter four. Yes. The Ephesians chapter four from verse. You wanted us to read from verse eleven, right? The fivefold. Yes. He says, and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, mm -hmm. for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, mm -hmm. till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man and to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Wow, uh, you know I love this this part of the scriptures because it gives us why now we have the fivefold ministry. Yes. The work of the fivefold ministry mm -hmm. is to the, he's saying to perfect the saints. In mm -hmm. other words, is to bring the saints into the place where uh, they come into the agreement of the perfection that is already. In, okay, the, in the spirit. In the spirit. Wow. Actually, I, I usually love the, the this trans. There are, there are some translations that say to equip the saints. Mm -hmm. But sometimes when it comes to equipping, it means like they don't have the equipment, mm -hmm. they need to be equipped. Mm -hmm. But the perfecting means what they already have in yes. them it's is being, being perfected, perfected also wow. in their souls mm -hmm. so that they can walk in it. Yes. Then he says, till we all come in the unity of the faith, and of the knowledge of the Son of God and to a perfect man. Mm -hmm. Now this one is calling the soul yes. into the perfection, perfection of, of the spirit. spirit. Yes. Wow. Yes, yes. And this is the work of the apostles. Yes. Uh, the the fivefold ministry, the, five -fold ministry, yeah. the apostles, the pastors, mm -hmm. the prophets, the evangelists, the teachers. Yes. Mm -hmm. Leave alone all the other assignments they have been giving themselves. <laughs> this is the main this is the main uh, yes. the main, the main calling. calling. Yes. Yeah. They are supposed to edify the saints mm -hmm. and Perfect Bring the them to yes to the place how where how do they do that help help us and now this is through the word through there the is something wise. grace has said yeah. that the only way to know the reality of the spirit is it's through, through the, word. the word there yeah. is no other way mm. and uh, maybe I can uh, I can also say something here that uh, man has an address yeah. every human being has an address mm. but with the coming of Christ and with us being made a new creation. 
we receive we have two addresses mm -hmm. and the first address is the physical address mm -hmm. where we have the body mm -hmm. people can define you by the body mm -hmm. but we have a higher address which is the spiritual address and that is our our position in god yes wow. that gives us a spiritual address mm -hmm. and in that spiritual address the bible says in colossians chapter 2 verse 10 that you are complete in him so this is our address so in the in the spirit we are complete Mm -hmm. But now there is something he says in Colossians chapter 3. Mm -hmm. So Colossians chapter 3 from verse 1, he says, uh, Colossians chapter 3 from verse 1, uh, he says, If you then be risen with Christ, so which part of us has been ra raised with Christ? It's the spirit, the spirit. right? Mm -hmm. So he says, if you then be risen with Christ, and sometimes I, I like correcting these things for my own benefit, because... You are risen with Christ, <laughs> okay. not just if. Yeah. It's because you are risen with Christ. Mm. Seek those things which are above. Yes. So he's saying you are risen with Christ. Yes. Then he says seek those things which are above. Okay. So Christ is above, mm. but he is giving you an instruction mm. to seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth, uh, sitteth on the right hand of God. Mm. Then he says set your affection on things above. Mm -hmm. In other words, he's saying, set your mind yes. on things above. Mm -hmm. So he's saying, you have been risen with Christ, mm -hmm. but you have to set your mind on the things mm -hmm. above. Mm -hmm. yes. And that is why now, we, we, as she said, that uh, it is the soul that comes to the to the reality of the spirit. Mm -hmm. you know, that, now that is what Paul is saying, that you have to allow your mind yes. to come above, where you, to come to your your real address yes. the spiritual mm -hmm. address now mm -hmm. so that when your mind is set on things above where you are seated with christ now you start walking like that yes. so even your body will yes. follow that reality yes. oh, because now wow. uh, the, the, you know the bible says in proverbs chapter 23 verse 7 and i believe everyone watching knows this verse mm -hmm. that as a man thinketh even those who are not born again they <laughs> <Yeah>. know it <laughs> as a man thinketh yes. So is he. Yeah. So if I want to see the reality of the spirit manifesting yeah. in my life, then my mind has nice. to be brought into that reality. Yeah. He's saying, set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember, we read in Genesis chapter 2, verse 6, that man or this body, the formation, was out of the dust yes. of the ground. Yes. So it was out of earth. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And the body relates with the earth mm, yes. because it's of the earth. earth. But now he's saying there is a higher life that you've been called mm, into, mm. and this is the spirit. Mm. Now that he's saying, instead of focusing on the earth and the things of the earth, because that is where your body belongs, mm. and actually, even when uh, when you talk about physical death, mm. your body will not go anywhere. Mm. It will still remain here on earth. It mm. loves the things of this earth mm. because it was formed out From of the earth. earth. Yes. Praise God. Mm. But now he is saying that for you to experience the life that is already in you, in the spirit, mm. he is not telling you to help your body to come up. Mm -hmm. He is saying it's your mind mm, yes. to come up yes. mm -hmm. to the things above, the mm -hmm. things of where you are seated with Christ in the heavenly places. And this comes by renewing the mind by the word of God. Yes. So any man who is born again and uh, is not enjoying what is rightfully theirs according to the word of God, mm -hmm. the problem is not their bodies. Yes. The problem is that their minds have not been set on things above. And after and they the are set, now when, when where they, do you leave the body? Uh, the body <laughs> automatically obeys. No, the body, the body does not rule us. It is the mind that rules us. That is why he's saying, as a man thinketh, so is he. So the body only follows what? The mind. So if you deal with the mind, the body has no option. Wow. The body is the determinant. And remember, he, uh, she said that one third of us is complete. It's done. Someone says it's wall to wall Holy Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> it's the completeness it's complete. is yeah. as complete as it will be, mm. one that of us. Mm. But now, the one who will determine how we we'll ex experience this even in our day-to-day -day lives mm. is the soul. Yes. So we got to allow our minds to be uh, to be filled of the word of God, to be filled with the word of God. Wow. And that is what he says in Colossians chapter 3, the same mm -hmm. Colossians we are in mm -hmm. from verse 16. Mm -hmm. He says, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom. Mm -hmm. So he's saying like, let the word of God dwell in our minds. Let the, our soul be filled with the word of God. Mm -hmm. Because the more our souls, our minds are filled with the word of God, mm -hmm. the more we agree 
with the spirit, the spirit. Yes. and as much as we agree with the spirit so it becomes to that of us is agreeing yes. so, so the, the one that than... has no other option yes. that, but, that, but sometimes you realize pastor that mm -hmm. uh, many people mm -hmm. they have their to that mm -hmm. the lower to that Putting, agreeing, uh, <laughs> and now the, the spirit has no choice it remains alone it remains. So, and so even the what has power, happened to the spirit uh -huh. cannot manifest if it's not supported by the two that if it doesn't win the two that yes yeah. and the so only way to win the two that is the word, is the the word to yeah. help our soul yeah. to come up to the spirit level yes. yeah. then the body obeys mm -hmm. does that apply with you know we are talking of the body now yes and when it comes to the body we are talking of everything about physical physical yeah. manifestation Be it sickness mm -hmm. maybe depression even things. the physical things you're praying for, mm. even the, mm. the richness, anything physical, yeah. when you're talking about the body, mm. you're talking about anything physical. Mm -hmm. And I can add on what Pastor Ben is saying and say. So now the spirit, I mean the soul is like a valve. Mm. I think we, we cannot understand, we cannot understand that we have valves, part taps. Yeah. 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 When you close that tap, mm. even if there is water, mm -hmm. when you close it, there will not be flow of water in your house. Yeah. Yeah. When you open it, there is flow of water. Yeah. Or even a switch. Yeah. Like now, if we came here and we didn't switch the light, the light, mm -hmm. Kenya Power has done its part. Yeah. It has provided electricity. But if you don't switch on the switch, you will not start saying Kenya Power has not Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All, I, you, or you will not wait for, tell Kenya Power, come and switch on my switches. Mm. <laughs> it is your work to switch on, to switch on the switch. Mm. So, a hundred percent, God has done everything. Mm -hmm. And when He looks at us, He sees completeness. Mm. But it is now our part that is not the part of God to do. Okay. God has done mm. His part, mm. but there is the part to do. Mm. The part of renewing our minds is actually still the part of faith because faith is responding to what God has already provided by faith, by yeah. grace. Mm. So faith is now your part to respond to that. And that is where the renewing of the soul comes in because the soul is now the valve, mm. the, tap, yeah. the tap. If you open your heart mm. and you open your mind to yeah. renewal, mm. you are op you're flowing, you're opening, the flow of what is already 100% done in your spirit to flow to the physical, wow. to okay. flow to your body. Mm. If you close your mind, mm. you will die of sicknesses with, and yet you have Christ's resurrection power inside of you. Mm. Wow. Because you're 100% healed. healed. Yeah. But if you close the valve, you will still die healed. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> die of sickness yet, yet, yet you have the healing inside. you have yes. the healing power actually not just you healed you are supposed to be healing the sick mm -hmm. you have the healing power in you mm -hmm. the raise, you can raise the dead the mm -hmm. power in you, you can raise the dead but you can, if you don't open your tap That's for that your mind. power to flow mm -hmm. to the physical mm -hmm. you will die with that resurrection power inside of you Wow. wow. Can I can I add on that yes. and uh, read a verse in the book of that John chapter mm -hmm. chapter one verse two? Mm -hmm. No, I used to read this verse and it had not dawned to me until one day the Spirit of God ministered to me using this verse in the book of that John chapter one verse two. Mm -hmm. We talk about prosperity using this verse, mm -hmm. but if you listen carefully to what John is saying, he's saying, "Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health." comma, even as thy soul prospereth. So the prosperity that he's talking about and the health that he's talking about is directly proportional to the prosperity of the soul. The soul. Wow. And how does the soul prosper? The soul prospers mm. by the hearing yeah. of the word of God. Amen. So as we grow, as our mind are being renewed by the word of God, mm -hmm. then we start to enjoy prosperity, you say it all these other things, mm -hmm. and be in health yes. so if your soul has not prospered and wow. what prospers our soul mm -hmm. is the word of god yes. the riches of his grace mm -hmm. which is the word of god mm -hmm. so what the more we feed on the word of god our yes. minds are being renewed and that is what we call the prosperity of the soul and now mm -hmm. the prosperity of the soul determines your pros the, the outward prosperity 
and it also determines your health. Mm -hmm. So why many people are born again, they have the healing power inside them, they have complete the completeness of God, they have the life of God in them, and all that God is, and all that God has is inside them, mm -hmm. but they are still suffering is because all these realities are still lying down in their spirits, it has not come to their souls. Mm -hmm. And the only way it can, it can come to the soul is when we give ourselves to the word of God. Yes. Our minds are renewed by the word. Yes. And as our minds are renewed, this prosperity that is already settled in the spirit mm -hmm. comes to the soul. Mm -hmm. And when the soul prospers, we, be, we the prosper on the outside oh, yes. and we are also in hell. Wow. So that is so, the, the opening of the valve now. That yes, is the as opening of the valve. Yes. So and, <laughs> continue. you see now, Sorry. actually most people believe us. Mm. They don't even believe that everything has been put 100% in their spirit. Yeah. So they are playing an error. Mm. Okay. If they are sick, they are telling God to come and heal them. Yeah. Yet. Yet. 100% they, they are healed wow. because they do not understand the difference between the spirit and the body, the, even. the soul and the, the body. body. Mm. So when they are sick, they think they are sick in their spirit or they think they are the real them. They sh we should know the real us is the spirit. Yeah. Then we have a soul and we live in a body. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about what you're praying God to do, if you have, you have so many prayer items, mm. what we need to understand is that 100% are that of us. It's there a hundred percent. So we start we stop begging God to come and do. Mm -hmm. We know now we have that power. So for example, if you're sick, mm. you know that a hundred percent you're healed. Mm. So you ask yourself then why am I mm -hmm. not, not healed? Why, why I, am is I my body? Eh. Yes. So what you need to do is to renew your mind or your soul towards who you are in your spirit. Mm -hmm. So that is opening you. So then the healing power in you. Spirit, spirit will flow flows to your body. Wow. So even how you pray, you may be praying in error, thinking you're praying and fasting for something to happen, but you're actually asking God to do what he has already done. Mm. And God is wondering, what do I need to do? I have already done it. Wow. But what you don't do know, I what do I need to do? So for you to know what God has done, you refer to the word of God. And the Bible says that, uh, maybe you will read for us that word, that the, the word of God is, a mirror, like mm. a mirror. Yeah. It is the mirror, actually. Mm. So as as a believer, you look at the mirror, which is the word of God, yeah. to know who you are mm. in your spirit. Mm. Because we have said, you can never see your spirit, mm. you can never feel your spirit. So but how do you, you know who you are in your spirit? It, through the word. it is through the word. So the word of God is the mirror. When you read, I am blessed with all spiritual blessings, you know it is the word of God is talking about your spirit. Mm -hmm. Because you said God is a spirit and he's communicating to the spirit. So you sh you get, you know that 100% I am blessed, blessed with all spiritual blessings. So mm -hmm. how do I do? What do I do mm -hmm. to manifest? Mm -hmm. Because I think even most people, when they know they are blessed or they receive prophecies, mm -hmm. yes, they know things have happened. Even somebody tell you spiritually it has happened. And actually... It should not be like a confirmation spiritually it has happened. Spiritually, it happened the day you received Christ. Yeah. Everything you believe, you're mm. trusting God for. A hundred percent. You don't need a prophet to come and tell you it is done. Mm. It was done a hundred percent when you received Christ. 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 Actually, if a prophet comes and sees, he's foreseeing what is already, mm. already there. Already there. Mm. So now what is already in your spirit? It is now you to open open the valve for it to and flow. that is renewing of yeah. your mind. Mm. Yeah. So what you need, maybe you can read for us that verse. Yeah, it's in the book of James, chapter one, from verse twenty-three. Yeah. It says, "For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man observing his natural face in a mirror. For he observes himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what kind of a man he was." But he who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues in it and is not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this one will be blessed in what he does. Exactly. Wow. So it means the word of God is the mirror. And I can, I, I can, I can maybe, we all know about the mirrors. Mm. Even before we came here, I'm sure we, 
Traseos, we don't <laughs> traseos in the mirrors. Mm. We trust our mirrors so much mm. that every morning you look at yourself in the mirror to to make sure that you are okay yeah. and you trust that mirror. Mm. Pastor Ben, if I tell you ukona kitu apa, you may not believe me. You'll go to the nearest <laughs> mirror and confirm. Check, yeah. And it is amazing if we can all say that we have never seen our faces. Mm. If you want to argue with me, look, tell me if you ever saw your face. <laughs> we have nobody trusted, of us has ever seen mm. our faces. Mm. We only trust the mirror. And you can look at your child and say, Aka kana nifanana. and yet you have <laughs> never seen yourself. You look at yourself at the mirror. Mm. We d- it is very, we don't forget that. But now John is talking about the word of God being the mirror. Mm. So the word of God is the mirror of the spirit. Because you have said it is done in the spirit. So if you want to know who you are in your spirit, go to the word of God. Now, faith is acknowledging who you are in your spirit. Mm. What you see in the mirror, which is the word of God, mm. acknowledge that what it is. Believe it. Believe it and confess it and being conscious about it. Mm. Wow. That is how it will manifest to the physical. Mm -hmm. So when you look at the mirror, don't forget. The same way you look at your mirror and Mm. you don't forget who you are. Mm. You cannot look at somebody else and say, now I'm going to grace. (laughs) Because I've forgotten my face. So the same way, don't forget what you have seen in the mirror, which Mm -hmm. is the word of God. If the word of God says you're righteous, don't let anything else confuse you. That is the mirror of the spirit. Mm -hmm. Believe it. The moment you believe what the word of God says, what the mirror of your spirit says, because the mirror gives the exact reflection of who you are. Mm. In the spirit. In your spirit. Mm. So exactly the same way a natural mirror gives the exact reflection of who you are. That is the same way the mirror of the spirit gives exactly who you are in your spirit. So when it is says you have the resurrection power inside of you, mm. don't doubt the mirror. Wow. Acknowledge, mm. be conscious about it. Mm. That is how it will flow mm. to the physical. Mm-hmm. So the more you read the word, the more you see the mirror, that is the more you renew your mind yes. to the reality of who exactly you are. You are. Yeah. Yes. And that is what helps us now to bring our soul to the same level mm-hmm. with spirit. our spirit. Yeah. And, and see, even of, when you talk about like confessing, like when we talk about in faith, we confess who you are, mm. it is not hard. Mm. It is just confessing what, what you are seeing in yes, the mirror. What the mirror it is not like it's a God. big thing. I am confessing I'm driving and I'm not driving. No. You are just looking at the mirror and, and saying who you are. You are acknowledging who you are in there. Mm. What the yes. mirror has yes. said. So faith is not a hard thing, believing and confessing. The moment you look at it in the mirror and you confess it and you acknowledge it, automatically it manifests. Mm. Amen. Wow. I believe we are learning. And... um. I think part of this conversation started with how how our spirit is exactly the same spirit of God. Mm. We were when Jesus came, when he, when you accepted Jesus as the Lord and Savior, you got the same spirit like the spirit of God and he was sealed. Your spirit is sealed. And I'm thinking of a verse that talks about Christ reconciling us to God. Mm. Christ bringing us back to the original to the very nature that God created us to be. Mm-hmm. And because I think we are in a very beautiful season mm-hmm. and I can see all over around us there is Christmas trees and everything. I just want us now to to, match, to, to talk about this Christmas season because we are talking about man, be, you told us man is spirit. Mm-hmm. And um, you, told, you have actually told us that um, when God, when a man is born again, he is created, he's a new creation. So yeah. he is a spirit creation. Mm-hmm. So um, we are now in a season of Christmas. I believe we are all celebrating that Jesus was born. Mm-hmm. And uh, as we celebrate this season, what message can we bring out? Even as we talk about the spirit, the soul, and the body. Mm-hmm. What do we bring out as Jesus, as ca- we are celebrating that he was born? Mm-hmm. He was born. Yeah. And this is the season. Mm-hmm. So let's, let's go into the Christmas edition. And see how the coming of Jesus now uh, brings us to this life. We are talking about the spirit life. Mm -hmm. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. It's amazing. It's amazing. And actually you realize that all these things that we are talking about, the spirit, Mm. 
is made possible by the coming of Christ. Wow. Even as we talk about why Jesus came, mm. he came to give us the image of God. Mm-hmm. He came to give us, to, 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 to make our spirits alive mm. and to make us just like God. Wow. And I, w- I would like to read a very interesting verse in the book of Matthew, chapter 22. Mm-hmm. Uh, chapter 22, I read from verse, uh, from verse 18, Matthew 22, from verse 18, or maybe I can read from verse uh, 16. Mm-hmm. Wow. It says, then uh, from verse 15, then the Pharisees went and plotted how they might entangle him in his talk. And they sent to him their disciples with the Herodians saying, teacher, we know that you are a true and teach the way of God in truth. Nor do you care about anyone for you do not regard the person of men. Tell us, therefore, what do you think? Is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar or not? Now I think someone is wondering, why are you talking about this? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But Jesus perceived their wickedness and said, why do you test me, you hypocrites? Show me the tax money. So he asked for that coin. Mm-hmm. And he, he, t- he told them to show him the, the tax money. Mm-hmm. So they brought him a denarius. That is the, the, the kind of money that they were using. Mm-hmm. So he asked them and he said to them, whose image and inscription is, is this? They said to him, Caesar's. Then, verse 21, B says, and he said to them, render therefore to Caesar the things that are Caesar's and to God the things that are God's. Mm. So what they were talking about here Mm. is the image that was inscripted in the coin. Mm. And that is why they they were coming to ask him whether it is okay to pay tax. Mm. And he asked them for a coin. Mm. Then he asked them whose image is in that coin. Mm. And they said Caesar. He was the the ruler at that time. Mm. Then he said to them, give to Caesar what belongs to God. Then he went ahead and now communicated a spiritual conversation and he mm. said, give to God what belongs to God. God. So the coming of Christ was to come and give us back the image wow. that was God's, which was lost by Adam mm-hmm. through sin. And when he gave us back the image, which is of God, now in us is inscripted the image of God. Wow. Where? in our spirit Mm -hmm. so the coming of christ was coming he was coming to tell the world Mm -hmm. now these people in their spirit they have the image Image of of their father the Ah. image of god now give to god what belongs to god so these people so when we celebrate christmas we celebrated knowing that he came to let the whole world the devil and his cohorts all powers and principalities Mm -hmm. that what you had held hostage and into bondage even death for a long time Mm -hmm. you seen you had whole uh, uh, you had taken captives what belonged to god but now have restored the uh, they image. are the image of God in them. Wow. So now you have no choice mm-hmm. but to give to God what, what belongs, belongs to, God. to God. So this is the message for Christmas wow. that we celebrate that now we have the image of God mm-hmm. in the spirit. Mm-hmm. Though things may look like they are not working on the outside, mm-hmm. so even sickness is being told by, by Jesus, yes. give to God what, what belongs to God. to God. You have no hold on these ones. Yeah. Yeah. Give to God every kind of darkness mm-hmm. in the world. Mm-hmm. They have to hear the message of Christmas mm-hmm. is that give to God what, what belongs, belongs to God. To God. Yes. Because in their spirit, they bear the, the image and the likeness of, of God. God. In wow. them is inscripted the image of God. Hallelujah. So he came to make us look like our father mm. and now is a declaration to the whole world. Mm-hmm. Whatever is holding you back mm. must release you. Amen. You wow. wow, and that's the message for Christmas. Yeah. Right in your soul is the inscription of God. Mm-hmm. And Jesus is saying, I have come so that I am declaring to the whole world, this one belongs to God. Mm -hmm. And there is no darkness whatsoever that can prosper in your life. There is no power of darkness that can continue holding on you because you have got the image of God in your spirit. That's why we are saying your spirit is completely 100% the Just image God. of God mm. completely and sealed and when and i believe when jesus now came and made that public declaration it was sealed mm-hmm. nothing can change that it is finished. nothing ca- it is finished it is done tell the devil if he can hear you that it was done and it cannot change because we are talking here about 
uh, our spirit being 100% redeemed and it's an eternal redemption. Mm-hmm. Jesus is not coming again. He did it once and for all. Yes. Jesus does not have time with the devil to keep coming and doing that. <laughs> he did it once <laughs> and for all. The final blow. And he's put that image in our spirit and it was sealed there. What mm-hmm. a beautiful message for Christmas. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. And, so and I believe give, even uh, as we conclude, as yeah, we come yeah. to the end, yes. even the things that are surrounding your soul, you know some people are having some addictions, mm-hmm. maybe others are having diseases in mm-hmm. their body. Mm-hmm. You have to arise and speak like Christ, that whatever belongs to Christ is Christ. So you addiction trying to hold me. Yes. You have no room. I don't belong to power. you. I belong to And the that's one. renewing your mind now. Yes. yes. Renew, you renew your mind by knowledge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now you know addictions, fear, um, depression, all those things have no hold. Mm-hmm. So when you renew your mind, that is when you start declaring to them, you addiction, you have no hold. Mm-hmm. That's, a, that's bringing, you are helping your soul to come to the level where your spirit is. Yeah. So it means even as Jesus, we are celebrating the birth of Jesus or the coming of Jesus, we are celebrating that he came to empower even us to renew our mind. Mm-hmm. He came with a message that, you know, Matthew says when, when the angels came and announced the birth of Jesus, the Bible says people who lived in great darkness have yes. seen a light. Mm-hmm. Light has come. Mm. Hope for humanity has come. Mm. A way out for humanity has come. Mm. And that is the message for Christmas, that your soul is eternally redeemed. The image of God has been inscribed on your soul. Your Nobody knows on your spirit. Yes. And there is no devil. There are not enough devils to remove that. Yes. Hallelujah. Wow. So we want to wind up because of time, but I want to allow uh, you to give us a final shot as we conclude this session. Okay, as we finish, maybe the final thing I can say is that the renewal of mind is not a one-off thing. Mm -hmm. It is not like taking a broom and sweeping sweeping and you say, my mind is renewed. Mm -hmm. It is a day-to-day thing. And Mm -hmm. that's why we have learned that even the five old ministries are for that work. So it is continue watching these shows Mm -hmm. because it is faith comes by hearing and hearing. Mm -hmm. So this faith, the defying yourself, it is hearing the right gospel, the truth of what has happened in your spirit. So you'll be renewed in different areas at different times, Mm -hmm. but you will know it when a part of you has been fully renewed. Like if you are sick, you are dying with cancer and your mind and your mind is renewed in healing and you get healed you know yes you will know i am healed and and that one has already entered in your spirit sorry in your soul so it has aligned with your spirit so keep don't don't, don't keep coming keep listening to the shows keep mm. go go back to the previous shows of marvelous believer and the other shows that we do at wema keep renewing your mind mm. yes it is a process amen, amen. yes Amen. Pastor? Wow. There is nothing you can do about your spirit. It was not about you. It was about God. And he did everything he had to do about your spirit. Mm -hmm. And it is settled in the heavens, on earth, in the heavens of heavens. It is settled that your spirit is as complete as it will be for eternity. And as just, uh, just like Grace has said, now it is your soul that needs to be renewed. He says in Romans chapter 12, verse 2, do not be conformed to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing with an I and G. That is to say, it is a continuous process. It is happening every day. How? By watching such a program, studying the word of God, and getting to know yourself as you are defined by God. So thank you so much. And I want to wish you a merry, merry, merry Christmas and a happy, glorious, prosperous year 2023. We love you so much. Thank you so much. We love you so much. As a... Maybe before I conclude, I'll also allow you to wish us a Merry Christmas. <laughs> I'm almost singing because I'm a gospel artist. But anyway, <laughs> I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Something I tell parents, talk to your children to know that Christ is not being born. And to know that from the beginning there was a word. God stepped into eternity so that they understand when you teach them about what is in the word of God? They, they, they don't start asking you. So who was the fa- so so Mary was the mother? So is God the father? How is Joseph and all that? 
let your children know that first of all Christ is not being born it is a celebration of what happened and then let them understand that it God was already there it is the seed that came into the womb of a woman and for us to understand redemption so that your children do not think the, the baby Jesus that you know that <laughs> that perception of uh, Christ has now been born afresh. Now a few days, your baby is thinking, your children are thinking about how old Christ, Jesus is. Mm, yes, and then you're talking reading. about Jesus who, was, who is seated at the right hand of the Father. It is good we understand that this was just an event which was supposed to bring eternity into time for us to understand. But from the foundation of the earth, the redemption was done. And from the beginning, there was a word. But what became fresh, that is what we are now celebrating. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Amen. Amen. I believe we have heard it all. This is actually the message for the season. Because when Christ came from the beginning, we are saying from the foundations of the earth, the word, had, the word was there, God was there, but he just came into time so that we are able, as the human beings, are able to understand this message. And the message is we were eternally redeemed. Christ died, even from the foundations of the earth, Christ had died. And if you're listening to us and you have never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior by faith, he died already. He's not dying again. Just open your heart and allow him to come and give you this life that he came to give. He says, I have come that I may give you life and give you life in abundance. I have come that I may bring that image of God into your spirit, that I may give you the very nature of God. Mm -hmm. So that is why Christ came and that's why we are celebrating that he came. We, we, don't, we, don't, we may not be sure which exact day it was, but we celebrate that he came. And so Merry, Merry Christmas from all of us the media team, the Wema media team, and uh, my guests, Merry Christmas 2022, and a very prosperous and blessed 2023. Thank you for keeping it Wema TV. We love you.